When I planned my trip to Japan, I knew that I had to come and see Mount Fuji. As it's winter, you can't hike to the top of the mountain, but there are still some incredible viewing locations nearby. Standing 3,776 meters tall, some of Mount Fuji's best views can be seen from the five lakes in the Fuji Goko region, positioned at the north base of the mountain. This region is roughly two hours from Tokyo. But if you're not traveling with an organized tour or have your own car, then how do you get there? The easiest way to get here is by bus, unless you are confident enough to transfer on various train lines. Here at Shinjuku bus station, you can catch a direct bus to Kawaguchiko station within two hours. These buses are popular and seats can sell fast. I did buy my ticket on the same day that I was traveling, but you can buy them in advance. A good idea if you are traveling in a big group. Also make sure to book a return ticket at the same time so you don't get stranded anywhere. around the Five Lakes, there are three different sightseeing bus lines that run throughout the day. The red line is the most used as it covers Lake Kawaguchi, where many hotels and onsens are situated. These buses run every 15 minutes. The green line to Saiko Lake runs every 30 minutes, and the blue line, which is the longest route to Motosuko and Shojiko Lakes, only runs four times a day. You can purchase a two-day pass, which covers all three bus lines, meaning for two days, you can hop on and off as much as you'd like. These useful maps are available and I highly recommend picking one up as they contain the bus routes, the bus timetables, the stops, transfer stops, and suggested photo locations. Mount Fuji dominates the sky at Fujigoko. My gaze can't stop searching for it as I explore the northern foot of the hill, its small towns, forests and lakes. Fuji's beautifully symmetrical ridgelines lead up to the snow-capped peak, as clear as day on a sunny winter's morning. Strong icy winds render my travel-sized tripod useless as I search for compelling compositions. It drives an array of weather through the countryside, drawn like a magnet to the summit of the mountain. A mountain of unexpected changing elements. I watched him wander as, within minutes, bright blue skies became dark, swirling storm clouds engulfing the volcano. Ten minutes later, the peak released the mass of hanging cloud to bathe once again in the sunlight. As the sun begins to set, the mountain seems to turn its attention to the east, basking in soft orange and pinks, leaving the views from Fujigoko to fade softly into the cold evening. Let me know of any of your future plans to travel to Japan or Fujigoko 
and thank you for watching. You can support my photography by checking out my website or Instagram which is linked down below. Happy travelling! Thank you.